barrel has lasted a very long time. It certainly has. I have to say that my, I have an uncle who lives in Houston, yeah. and he sends us videos of yeah. just the cleanup. And while he's okay, thankfully, his neighborhood is just devastated. So you feel for everybody no going through it. No question about it. Yeah, this storm had far-reaching impacts from the Gulf Coast all the way here to New England. And it is finally done. However, our flood threat isn't done. Of Great. course not. Yeah. yeah, we got a lot of rain. That's the next level, right? That, that is the next level. And it's just tropical downpours, a tropical air mass with humidity that really leads to a lot of the heavy rain in a short amount of time. Of course, also with climbing, climate change, we know in a warming world, the atmosphere will have the potential to hold about 7% more water vapor, which could lead to more stronger downpours in the weeks, the months, and the years and decades to come. Uh, looking at satellite and radar right now, a few isolated showers across uh, Nantucket and even Martha's Vineyard across the Outer Cape. But there's more on the way. And a lot a lot of this does, again, have origins to the tropics, so that's why it's still humid today and tomorrow with dew points in the 60s and 70s. I really don't think we see a substantial break in the heat and the humidity to, until the end of next week, so about seven days from now is when we should start to see a shift in the forecast. But from New York City all the way down to Norfolk, Virginia, and the Carolinas, thunderstorms right now very early in the day, and that's all headed and streaming towards the north and northeast. Through 7.30 or 8 o'clock this morning, now more widespread downpours across Barnesville County and perhaps across the south coast. There's not a lot of rainfall today, but for those of us that do get rain, that's when we could ultimately get a lot of rainfall in a short amount of time or a quick downburst of rain in a short amount of time that could lead to the potential of flash flooding. I think the greater flash flood threat is actually tonight after midnight and into tomorrow morning. We do have a flood watch posted for much of the Commonwealth and also across the state line into Rhode Island and the northern half of Connecticut too. Looking at that timing, it's early in the day tomorrow. So 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock tomorrow. Again, some of those same spots that are seeing the showers this morning likely to be under the gun again tomorrow. We'll toss in a few more areas across the Route 2 and the Monadnox at 9 o'clock and this stretches across down East Maine. Again, keep in mind, though the radar is not showing it, the potential is still there for any of this to really erupt in torrential rain, especially given the heat of the day tomorrow. Another prime example in case in point here at 8 o'clock tomorrow night as that final line of rainfall races through, I think that will be far stronger than what most of the guidance depicts. If we total everything up through the weekend, it's another two to three to maybe isolated pockets of four inches of rainfall across Plymouth County and the South Shore and then across the south coast and the islands. That's really where we're watching the chance for the rain to add up, and that's only given because of what we've already had and what we have ongoing this morning. Highs are right around 88 degrees today. Scan the QR code that not only gets the forecast at your fingertips for the day today, should we get any flood alerts for tomorrow, which I think we might in pockets. Just keep in mind it's not widespread. You will certainly need to know about it. Tonight we're down to 72 degrees. We're still watching for that wet weather, torrential at times, but remember most of that is at about 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We've got a 60% shot at showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. Sunday's much more improved rainfall wise, uh, but the temperatures are still up there. In fact, Saturday may be one of the colder days of the next five to seven before we really see the temperatures drop back down next Thursday. But again, you guys, it comes at a cost. We've got to get the rainfall through here first, but I can assure you next Thursday and Friday should be far, far better than what we've had as of late.